We're joined on the phone today by country artists Rodney Atkins and his wife Rose Falcon. They've got a new EP, a new project out. It's called Rod and Rose. Hey guys, how you doing today? Hey there. Hey, we're great. It's great to be speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having us. Well, I know you have the new EP out for the new project, Rod and Rose. Can you tell the listeners a bit about the new album? What are we in for? Absolutely. Um, I think it's just a really cool combination of what Rodney does and what I do. And it's it, the whole EP kind of has a theme. It's um, about unconditional love. I know you two have collaborated in the past. Uh, this is like the first official release as a duo from you guys. Uh, what made you decide to officially make you know, music as Rod and Rose? That's a great question. We kind of, as you said, we've, uh, we've, we do have made music in the past. We've done duets on my last uh, Caught Up in the Country album. We wrote songs, been writing songs together. She's always working on her own music. And the pandemic was an opportunity for us, you know, being in the house together. We uh, had performed a song for an event called Unite and uh, put a little video out of us doing the performance. And it, a lot of people responded to that. And then the head of our record label, Mike Kerr, called me one day and he said, Rodney, you and Rose should do a project together. And we're kind of that way. For we, we both are similar in that we can't, kind of impose ourselves we needed somebody to tell us you guys need to do this and then when he said that we were we were you know all about it and we just that's all we worked on and rose i know you've been involved with music and songwriting for a long time and your songs have been recorded by a lot of big artists as well is there a different approach that you take you know when you're writing for yourself versus you know writing for other artists yeah i mean you know, I don't want to write a song that I wouldn't record myself in the first place, but I will say, to be completely honest, that once you put that label on it and say, this song is for me or me and Rodney, it does become a little bit more difficult. But fortunately, Rodney pushes me when I get down and vice versa, so we're able to work through it and get some great songs. Awesome. And again, uh, the new EP is out, uh, Rod and Rose. And, and Rodney, you obviously have had some major success with your career, but, but I imagine being able to make music with your wife, you know, getting your family involved, that's got to be worth more than any number one hits for you. It is. Uh, I mean, kind of, though, I guess maybe it's me being a little bit selfish and because Rose is always, she's in demand as a songwriter. I mean, other artists are trying to get in the room with her to write a song so they can be a writer on their own project. Um, so this was an opportunity actually for us to, for me to steal her away for, for a little while <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and work on this together. It's, it's definitely cooler than anything I've ever got to work on. That's sweet. <laughs> So how is it collaborating together? Does being married and being around each other all the time, does that help in the studio? Maybe you guys are able to kind of know what each other is thinking when you're putting things down? I, I think so. I think it's also cool. You know, Rodney works so hard on his records. The hardest, really, I've ever seen anybody work. He cuts all of his vocals at home. And that's kind of a rare thing for people, you know, who don't know about how records are made. And so... It's cool because what you're hearing on this EP is just like us living life and working on music all at the same time. So he can be in the studio working on music and I can be hanging with the kids and say, hey, I like that. I don't like that or vice versa, you know, and it's just a cool way to to work on a project. Well, you guys try to get the uh, the act on the road here, maybe play some shows this year with the new EP. Uh, for sure, we actually have a string of dates coming up through the month of April. Uh, the Rod and Rose on tour. We're going to be playing some city wineries and some kind of some cool venues like that. Can't wait. Excellent. Well, Rod, uh, what's next for you as far as uh, music? Do you have uh, anything else coming up that you're working on? Maybe just a, a Rodney Atkins album in the works? Sure. I'm, I'm always chipping away at, at solo stuff. Um, just whenever I can. We kind of always have some kind of music working on, you know, here at home in between the kids running in and out of the room. Um, 
but yeah, working on solo stuff as well. Excellent. And Rose, I know you started out when you were a kid, pretty much. So do you think maybe your kids will get into the music business as well? Will this kind of be like a Carter family set up down the road? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It sure seems like it, but I mean, I want some, I'd rather them do something else, play baseball or something. <laughs> but yeah, it sure seems like they love music and they're always making up songs and it's, it's wild. We can't stop them. It's in- it's impossible to avoid it. And Rose's dad is, I mean, legendary songwriter as well. So it's in their bones, I think. Awesome, guys. Again, uh, it's great that uh, this is out here, Rod and Rose. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys out on the road here. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. for having us. And again, that was Rodney Atkins and Rose Falcon, better known as the duo Rod and Rose. And their new EP, Rod and Rose, is out now.